Tribe, I become invincible with my 10,000 times bonus from the start. Chapter 171, Dark Judgment This place was a small plain far away from the main plain. It was located in an extremely remote location that ordinary people would not be able to discover. At that moment, countless spokesmen of the gods were gathered there. The goddess of darkness, the goddess of poison, the god of kobolds, the demon king, the vampire matriarch. The people present were the high priests of these gods, and the monster siege was directed by them. Although they did not like each other, their current interests were aligned. Even the goddess of darkness herself was involved, so they could be considered to be temporarily united. At this moment, the situation of the monster siege shocked everyone. They never expected that a territory that had only been established for seven days could be so strong. Moreover, it was ridiculously strong. The countless legendary grade defense facilities almost blinded everyone's eyes. Putting aside the question of how Li Cheng even obtained these defense facilities, just the amount of mana required to operate these defense facilities at the same time was enough to put everyone to shame. They really could not imagine how a human who had entered the lost continent for only seven days could do it. It was ridiculously ridiculous. These people had no way out at the moment. They could only be furious at their incompetence. How's this possible? Nearly 200 gods have cast their blessing divine spells. Our army's so powerful that it's impossible to predict our next move. That's right. In our current state, we can even take down the City of Light. Damn it. What kind of defensive building is this? In the corner of the space, a few figures in black robes were laughing coldly. Hee <laughs> hee, a bunch of unworldly people. These are the legendary frost towers and the profound energy cannons. It's impossible to count on this bunch of good-for-nothings. Let's do it ourselves. Everyone, for the glory of the goddess, prepare to carry out the dark judgment. Hearing this, the black-robed men's expressions became solemn and their eyes revealed a fanatical look. In the territory, Li Cheng, too, frowned slightly. The teleportation gate in front of him was still spinning non-stop but no monsters could be seen. It was obvious that those people were planning something, right? The players were also dumbfounded by the situation in front of them. What's going on? Is the opponent afraid of being beaten by netherworld boss? It shouldn't be. The system said that the monster siege will not stop until all the players' territories are broken through. Ha ha ha. Netherworld boss is too fierce. Even the system is scared of him. Can we end this quickly? My territory's full of monsters now. If I'm reborn, I'll die immediately. It's an endless cycle here. It's really uncomfortable. Just as the players were discussing the situation, the sky above Li Cheng's territory was suddenly covered by an extremely dark pitch black energy. This pitch black energy was really strange and its color seemed to be extremely dark. Ding, dong. Warning. Dark Priestess William is currently undergoing dark judgment. Ding, dong. Warning. Dark Priestess William is currently undergoing dark judgment. Ding, dong. Warning. Dark Priestess William is currently undergoing dark judgment. The system's ear-splitting voice rang in Li Cheng's ears. When he heard this voice, Li Cheng's pupils constricted. Dark judgment. He did not expect the goddess of darkness to be so ruthless. She magnified it right from the start. Dark judgment was the most powerful offensive divine spell that the Church of Darkness could cast in the mortal plane. It required the presence of thirty high-level priests in order to gain the authority to cast it. In other words, there were thirty legendary grade and above bosses. This was a super large scale AoE skill and its attack power was at least a hundred billion. Dark Judgment was considered the strongest offensive skill of the Church of Darkness. If it continued to grow stronger, it would harm the entire mortal plane. This would touch the bottom line of the God of Creation. At that moment, boundless pitch black energy slowly gathered in the air, gradually forming a huge black raindrop. It was as if it was about to rain down on him at any moment. 
Li Cheng cast a scouting spell and the information of this huge black raindrop appeared in front of him. Dark Judgment Description, formed by 30 high-level priests, Dark Judgment contains the powerful divine power of the Goddess of Darkness. Once released, it can destroy the world. Level, Max, Full Power Progress, 9% Attack Damage, at least 500 billion Attack range, 30,000 yards. After Li Cheng received the detailed information, he announced it to everyone in his territory. Meanwhile, the players of the Rose Guild did not care about the information being displayed on the public screen. All the players who were watching the live broadcast were stunned. They all sucked in a breath of cold air. FCK, what kind of effing damage is that? Don't say anything. Let me count how many zeros there are. Hiss, a total of 500 billion damage, and it's even an AoE skill. It's over. The attack range is also so big. This time, Netherworld boss is going to be finished, too. I bet a bag of spicy sticks. This time, Netherworld boss is definitely not able to withstand it. Ha ha ha, Netherworld boss is finally finished. I was wondering how a Rising Divine Dragon Alliance member could be so strong. Ah, Great Goddess of Darkness, as long as you can break through Netherworld's territory, I'll be your most devout believer starting today. Whether it was the players from the Divine Dragon Alliance or the other alliances, they all thought that Li Cheng would definitely not be able to survive this wave of damage. The 30,000 yard range had already covered all of Li Cheng's territory, and what with the 500 billion damage it had, the players could only watch helplessly. This was only 9% of the gathered damage which was the lowest damage it had. Judging from the current scale, the final damage value should exceed this number greatly. It was not just the players. When the gods who were secretly paying attention to all of this saw dark judgment being used, their eyelids twitched. F asterisk CK, it's a full power dark judgment. Is the Goddess of Darkness crazy? Oh let me think. The last time a full power Dark Judgment was used seemed to be thousands of years ago. That's right. At that time, her Dark Judgment managed to injure three gods. Tisk, tisk, tisk what a pity. This netherworld isn't so bad. His tolerance toward the divine arts is simply invincible. Alas, today, he'll die here. Sigh. It seems that this human's territory cannot be preserved. Let's focus on protecting the City of Light. Let's go together. Seeing this situation, the gods shook their heads one after another. No one believed that Li Cheng could defend himself against the full power of the Dark Judgment. It could even blow the capital of the various empires into dust in an instant, not to mention Li Cheng, a mere level 3 lord. They were all sighing and thinking of leaving. As for sending troops or priests to help Li Cheng these gods never even thought of it. Chapter 172, Dark Judgment? That's it. Li Cheng had already seen the information of the Dark Judgment. There were only two words in his heart. That's it. The full power of the Dark Judgment was still within the limits of the mortal plane. When he thought of this, Li Cheng did not move at all, quietly waiting for the Dark Judgment to take shape. Attacking the energy body that was floating above his territory would be meaningless. There were only two ways to interrupt the Dark Judgment. The first was to kill the priest who was using the Dark Judgment. The second was to injure or even kill the Goddess of Darkness, decreasing her divine power or directly killing her. Based on the current situation, these two methods were impossible to achieve. The priests who were executing the Dark Judgment were all hidden on the other side of the portal. Li Cheng was certain that on the other side, an inescapable net was set up. As long as he sent his troops over, he would definitely be ambushed. As for the Goddess of Darkness, he did not know where she was. Li Cheng was not stupid enough to think that he could really injure her. When the players saw that Li Cheng was still standing there indifferently, they were even more certain of what they were thinking, so they said one after another. It's over. Big Boss Netherworld has no other way. Netherworld, hurry up and attack. 
there might be a chance to turn this around. Sigh, looks like Boss Netherworld has resigned to his fate. What a pity. If Boss Netherworld can survive this, it would bring glory to our Divine Dragon Alliance. Go, Boss Netherworld, don't give up. At Li Cheng's territory, Purple Rose and Little Rain could not help but look a little nervous. Nevertheless, they still gritted their teeth and stood their ground instead of running straight to the City of Light to take refuge. Looking at Li Cheng's calm expression, they had an inexplicable thought in their hearts. Li Cheng definitely had a way out of this. In the southern area of his territory, Raya was also staring at Li Cheng. Between her slender fingers, she held a small sapling. It was emitting a mysterious light, rotating non-stop. Time passed by, minute by minute. Li Cheng stood in his territory, tapping his fingers in boredom. He could not help but feel speechless, complaining that the speed of the priests was too slow. As time passed, the black energy ball in the sky above his territory became denser and denser, gradually taking on the shape of a water droplet. The data bar was also slowly filling up. 50%. 60%. 70%. 90%. 95%. 99%. Li Cheng had been waiting for more than 10 minutes. The progress bar of the Dark Judgment was finally about to be full. The pressure released by the energy ball became more and more terrifying, as if the end of the world was coming as it was about to devour his entire territory. At this moment, the system's voice suddenly rang in Li Cheng's ears. Ding, dong. Warning. The Dark Judgment has been assembled. Ding, dong. Warning. The Dark Judgment has been assembled. Ding, dong. Warning. The Dark Judgment has been assembled. The system's notification rang three times in a row. Then, the terrifying pitch black energy suddenly poured down on his territory as if its floodgates had been broken. For a moment, the world changed color. Watching this scene, everyone's hearts were in their throats. However, the scene of Li Chen's territory being annihilated that the players were imagining did not appear. Instead, a blue frost barrier appeared above Li Chen's territory. Two completely different types of terrifying energy collided fiercely. Boom. 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 The sound of the collision caused everyone's ears to hurt. Kika. The surrounding space could not bear the burden of the attacks and soon, Cracks that looked like broken glass appeared. However, in the next moment, the cracks were slowly healed by a mysterious and powerful force. Seeing this scene, everyone's lips twitched. What the f asterisk ck, even the space was torn apart. One had to know that in tribe, tearing space apart meant many things. For example, the boundaries between the various alliances could be forcefully broken as long as the damage was high enough. Additionally, to tear apart the space and tribe, one's damage value would need to be at least a trillion. At this moment, the collision of energy had ended. Everyone looked over. The Azure Frost Barrier was still intact and Li Cheng's territory did not change in the slightest. Seeing this scene, the countless black-robed men inside the teleportation portal widened their eyes in disbelief. How's this possible? The Dark Judgment has been blocked. What kind of defensive device is this? How have I never heard of it? How can the Goddess of Darkness's power be blocked? Even if the City of Light were to defend against this scale of Dark Judgment, they'd have to pay a huge price. This. Li Cheng's expression was still calm as he looked at the teleportation gate in the sky. On his palm, a crystal clear hexahedron appeared. It was the immortal weapon, the Dragon Soul. Disregarding everything else, the amount of frost energy that Li Cheng had extracted was already in the tens of trillions. Defending against such an attack was simply too easy. The players who saw this scene also widened their eyes. They could not imagine that Li Cheng was able to defend against such an attack. Little Rain and Purple Rose were both patting their chests. They were scared to death by Li Cheng. Raya, on the other hand, 
looked thoughtfully at the dragon soul in Li Cheng's hand. She had a feeling that she had seen this divine artifact before in some ancient book. After thinking for a long time, she still could not put her finger on it. She shook her head slightly and did not think much about it. She put away the small sapling in her hand and thought to herself, it looks like I don't have to do it myself. After the dark judgment fell, the monster siege stopped for a period of time. The evil forces probably could not understand why Li Cheng could defend against such a terrifying dark judgment. This wave of operations by the Church of Darkness had successfully affected the morale of the evil forces. Li Cheng could even defend against the full power of the Dark Judgment. They really could not think of any other means to defeat him. At the same time, countless evil gods were paying attention to this scene, and they, too, could not comprehend it. Ah, this! How is this possible? This human's territory is too abnormal, right? Our troops were basically sent to commit suicide. UF asterisking have the nerve to say that? My church lost a total of 10 million legendary soldiers, and you only produced tens of thousands of high-level soldiers. Are you pretending to be pitiful in front of me? Are UF asterisking pretending? The ones who died were my own followers. You just used a few slaves and you still have the nerve to talk about others. As they spoke, the gods of the evil camp began to fight with one another. Chapter 173, Please, Enter the Trap In fact, this was the daily state of the evil camp. If they were ever able to unite, the good camp would definitely fail to be a worthy opponent. Just as these gods were fighting each other, a cold female voice was suddenly heard. All of you, be quiet. As soon as these words were said, all the evil gods instantly became as silent as obedient primary school students. The owner of this voice was naturally the leader of the evil camp, the goddess of darkness. The goddess of darkness's prestige in the evil camp was still very high. As for the gods who were not afraid of her, they would not ruin her reputation at this time. Everyone knew that she was the one who bore grudges the most. The goddess of darkness was not going to discuss nonsense. She ordered, with my holy son leading the way, try to launch a wave of attacks. Elites, stop hiding. All of you, move out. Hearing this, the gods nodded repeatedly. The Church of Darkness was still very strong, so they should at least have some crown soldiers, right? As time passed, a few huge portals burning with pitch black flames started operating on their own. However, no monsters could be seen coming out of them. Seeing this scene, Li Cheng frowned slightly. There were no more monsters coming out from the portals. Were those people planning something? Not long after, the system notification rang in Li Cheng's ears again. Ding, dong. World notification. The 91st wave of monsters is about to attack. The total number of siege troops this time is 50 billion, of which 25 billion are tier 9 troops, 15 billion are tier 10 to 12 troops, and 10 billion are tier 13 troops. Ding, dong. Good luck. As the world notification rumbled, the monsters appeared once again like a tidal wave. This time, there were obviously much more monsters than the earlier waves as they were so densely packed that they filled everyone's vision. There were tens of billions of monsters. The most terrifying thing was that the lowest level monsters were tier 9 while the highest level monsters were tier 13. They were champion troops. Although the ratio of tier 13 monsters was relatively small, with only 10 billion of them, such a terrifying force was enough to flatten medium-sized cities. When the players heard the system's voice, they were completely stunned. They had never seen a high-level soldier before, let alone a top-ranked soldier. These 10 billion soldiers were already beyond their understanding. F asterisk CK, did I hear it wrong? 10 billion soldiers. F asterisk CK, are we really playing the same game? Who am I? Where am I? Is this really the difficulty level that a 7-day server should have? Hiss, I'm afraid Netherworld boss won't be able to withstand such an army, right? See, nothing's certain. 
Netherworld boss has given us more than one miracle. We won't be able to tell until the end. Let's just watch. At this moment, the sound of heavy footsteps could be heard. Everyone turned their heads to look. In the teleportation portals, countless huge figures that were dozens of meters tall were slowly marching out. Their bodies were extremely bloated and they looked like walking lumps of meat. Although they were called bodies, they were actually pieces of bloody meat forcefully stitched together. Seeing this scene, Li Cheng sighed. This was the true hatred. The things that the Church of Poison had created could only be considered as a product. The hatred was an incredibly famous army of the undead race. It was also the representative unit of the Meat Shield Army. They had the characteristics of all the Meat Shield soldiers high HP, high defense, and high magic resistance. The abominations appeared in Li Cheng's territory, and they were Tier 13 crown troops created by the demons. At that moment, Li Cheng cast countless scouting spells and information about the monsters immediately appeared in front of him. Abyss Terror Face Abomination, Crown Abyss Terror Lord, Legendary Extreme Misfortune Swordsman, Legendary Chaos Fire Element, Legendary Looking at the attributes of these monsters, Li Cheng's eyelids twitched. Behind these monsters, there were countless commanders. They were at least epic grade beings, and there were even legendary and mythical grade ones. From the looks of it, the other party had sent out all of their elites, and the attributes of these crown soldiers were a little ridiculous. They were all super elites with full levels. Even their equipment columns were filled with mythical grade equipment. If it was a normal player, one might not be able to defeat them. When he thought of this, Li Cheng sneered. He currently had more than 2,000 times the attack and defense bonus. If he could not defeat them, it would be a miracle. Meat Shield Elite Soldiers? Would they not be killed in an instant? However, Li Cheng quickly frowned. These commanders were all hiding behind the teleportation portal. They were all scared to death. They did not show themselves at all and were also outside the range of his defensive facilities. Thinking of this, Li Cheng snapped his fingers. His surging defensive facilities were instantly silenced. It was as if they no longer had enough energy and firepower. Seeing this scene, the eyes of all the legendary bosses lit up. A good opportunity. Netherworld's energy has finally been depleted. That's right. Look, all his buildings have been silenced. Charge. Netherworld can't take it anymore. Seize the opportunity and flatten his territory in one wave. He's been a lord for less than seven days. He doesn't have many soldiers at all. The only reason he was able to defend us for so long is because of these defensive facilities. This is a good opportunity for us. Upon seeing this scene, countless commanders immediately commanded their troops to follow behind the Hatred Army as they advanced slowly. At the same time, they, too, walked out of the teleportation portal. Everyone's faces were filled with tears. F asterisk CK, the monsters have been attacking the territory for a few hours, and this is the first time they're walking out of the portal. However, before they could be happy for a few seconds, something unexpected happened. Boom. 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 Ding, dong. Your highest level fire magic trap has been triggered. Ding, dong. Your highest level thunder magic trap has been triggered. Ding, dong. Your highest level ice magic trap has been triggered. Ding, dong. Along with a number of violent noises, colorful explosions suddenly erupted from the ground. The moment their troops stepped onto Li Cheng's territory, the traps that had been laid long ago exploded. The HP of the Hatred Army was extremely high but the other troops were incredibly fragile. They could not react at all and were blasted into the sky. Then, they all fell freely. With never-ending plops, countless corpses fell heavily to the ground. The countless bosses at the back were dumbfounded. What the F asterisk CK, the highest level magic traps? He laid so many of them? Tell me, how rich are you? 
Chapter 174, The Fallen Evil Commanders One had to know that there were incredibly few blueprints of the highest level magic traps. They were completely monopolized by the Mage City. Up until now, less than 10,000 traps had been leaked to the entire continent every year. However, looking at the continuously exploding traps in front of them, they seemed to cover a distance of at least a few hundred meters. Watching this scene, the bosses quickly stopped their troops. They could not be so brainless as to throw away their lives. They could be considered to have rich combat experience. However, this was the first time they had encountered such a siege. They were extremely depressed. Even the City of Light was definitely not that difficult to fight. All the commanders quickly waved their hands and stopped the troops from advancing. At this moment, a peak mythical grade black-robed priest suddenly waved his staff and countless pitch-black light barriers instantly enveloped the Hatred Army. It had to be said that the Hatred Army was quite strong. They instantly activated their special invincible skill and a faint black light barrier enveloped them. The magic traps did not deal any damage to them at all. Seeing this, Li Cheng raised his eyebrows and took a quick look. It was a mythical grade equipment skill. It could maintain a state of invincibility for up to five minutes. However, once that state ended, the side effects were also quite strong. The maximum HP of all units would be halved for the next 24 hours. At this time, the Hatred Army shook their bodies. All sorts of strange and painful sounds came out of their mouths as they charged straight toward Li Cheng's territory. They trampled on the traps until they were a bloody mess while the other attacking troops carefully followed behind the abominations. Such a strategy was naturally possible. The only problem was that the abominations walked a little too slowly. Watching this scene, Li Cheng used his fingers to knock on his city walls in boredom, thinking to himself, can you guys give me a little more strength? Just like that, the monster army slowly pushed forward. However, ten minutes later, the undefeatable abominations disappeared. Every time they stepped into a trap, their HP would drop by a large margin. Despite that, the monsters replenished some of their healing units in time and the abominations HP finally stabilized. They finally entered the range of the frost marksmen. Li Cheng thought for a moment as Sylvia's side was already waiting for orders. In the end, Li Cheng still decided to wait. The cunning commanders were still watching from the other end of the teleportation portal. Seeing this, Li Cheng began to call for the frost marksmen to attack. The defense towers were still in their stalled state. With a wave of Li Cheng's hand, countless frost marksmen poked their heads out from the city wall. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. Arrows filled with frost instantly poured down from the sky which was followed by violent explosions. The system notification rang in Li Cheng's ears. Ding, dong. Your troops have killed 6,000 legendary abyss terror lords. Ding, dong. Countless killing notifications popped up, and the evil army began to fall, some instantly killed by the frost arrows. Seeing this scene, the evil commanders felt their scalps go numb. What kind of AoE ability was this? However, they could still accept such casualties. After all, the number of frost marksmen was still too small. Compared to their 50 billion troops, Li Cheng would have to continue killing them for a long time. Thus, the commanders ordered the army to move forward. At this time, the evil army finally arrived in front of Li Cheng's city wall. Everyone wanted to cry but they had no tears. After attacking his city for five hours, they finally reached the city wall. The commanders ordered the siege troops to attack the city wall. A burly man took the lead and raised the war hammer in his hand high, smashing it down. Then, with a ding, the ear-piercing sound of metal colliding was heard. The man's body was shaken by the collision until he was numb. A damage value jumped out from the city wall. Minus zero. Seeing this, the commanders were stunned. FCK, what the FCK is this city wall? This is a mechanical city wall armor. F asterisk CK, isn't the defense of this city wall too thick? He's a legendary boss, 
and the warmer in his hand is a mythical grade equipment. It even has a damage bonus on the city wall. This is an epic city wall, yet, we still can't break through its defense. The evil army was stunned. All the units had already launched an attack on the city wall. Yet, the damage values that appeared were all zeros that were blinding their eyes. Li Cheng merely sneered when he saw it. What a joke. His attack and defense stats had been amplified by more than 2,000 times. Even if a god descended, he would not be able to break through his defense, let alone these little shrimps. At this time, Li Cheng narrowed his eyes. There were only a few black shadows hidden in the teleportation portal. It seemed that the bosses hiding behind the scenes could no longer sit still. Seeing this, Li Cheng was no longer hesitating. He gestured to the sky. Seeing this, Sylvia ordered the dragons to start attacking. Suddenly, a loud dragon roar resounded through the sky. Roar! 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 After the dragon's roar, the frost dragons suddenly appeared from the clouds, like tigers entering a flock of sheep. Dragon's breath flooded the ground, killing the legendary soldiers that were guarding the teleportation portals. Li Cheng had also sent Sylvia and the Frost Dragons to cut off the evil army's retreat route. At this time, Li Cheng activated a tool that he had not used before. Ding, dong. You've activated the Shadow Maze. As the system's voice fell, a faint mist instantly spread out from his territory. The bosses of the evil faction were instantly shocked. In the blink of an eye, the visibility around them was less than a meter. If they were not careful, their heads would hit the city wall, not to mention returning to the portal. Li Cheng sneered and activated his million-plus defense facilities again. In the next moment, the raging cannon fire resounded through the sky once again. Boom! 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 The fierce cannons shocked all the evil bosses, and their bodies turned cold. Only then did they realize that they had fallen into a trap. They all had a thought in their minds, and that was to run. Flee. Cunning netherworld, he let us walk out of the portal on purpose. Help, I'm not attacking the city anymore. Who knows where the portal is? FCK, why did you effing bump into me? Chapter 175, The Collective Descent of the Evil God Looking at the retreating evil commanders, Li Cheng sneered. They were coming to attack him. Yet, they still wanted to run? After the Shadow Maze was activated, bosses below Mythical Grade would lose their sense of direction and could only wander around in the fog. If Li Cheng wanted to, he could simply leave them to starve to death in this maze. Of course, Li Cheng was too lazy to waste any more time. Hence, he immediately ordered all his defense facilities to focus their fire on these random bosses. Soon, the system notifications started ringing in Li Cheng's ear. Ding, dong. You've killed the epic grade cobalt priest Yadalga and obtained 300,000 activity points. You've also triggered a 10,000 times increase and obtained 30 million activity points. Ding, dong. Your troops have killed the legendary grade boss, Devil Snake Tooth Messenger, and obtained 20 million activity points. You've also triggered a 10,000 times increase and obtained 200 billion activity points. Ding, dong. You've obtained 500,000 contribution points from the Church of Light. You've also triggered a 10,000 times increase and obtained 5 billion contribution points from the Church of Light. Ding, dong. These commanders were indeed high-level priests of the various evil gods. The weakest among them was an epic grade boss and the activity points gained from killing these bosses were pretty high. Seeing this, Li Cheng smiled. If it were any other time, it would have taken him a lot of effort to kill a mythical grade boss in its peak condition. However, in his territory and paired with his terrifying blessing, he could only say that he was sorry. Whenever a mythical grade boss came, it would be instantly killed. Half an hour later, this wave of enemies was cleared once again. A few frost dragons even rushed into the teleportation portals and returned with a few troops that were lying in ambush. With a single bite, they were all killed. 
Those who saw this scene felt their scalps go numb. Li Cheng looked at the time. It was almost evening and the monster's attack on the city was almost over. By then, if the enemy launched another attack, there would only be a single wave of attacks. At this time, the countless gods that were watching the battlefield could not sit still. This wave of losses was really painful. No matter how much money they had, they still felt a wave of pain with so many of their high-level priests dead. How's this possible? My high-level priest was killed in an instant. His those are just legendary grade defense facilities. My priest is a mythical grade one. How could he be killed in an instant? This doesn't make sense. Ah! Damn netherworld, all my elite troops are dead. What's your name? Are you the only one who suffered heavy losses? Who among us aren't the same? Just as they were arguing, the voice of the goddess of darkness came again. Enough! As her voice was evidently full of anger, the complaints of the evil gods stopped. This time, however, many of them had a problem with the goddess of darkness. Nevertheless, her prestige was still there. Her light voice reached the ears of every god. You can send your own holy sons to attack. This time, I'll take the lead and all the gods will descend. As the dark goddess's voice fell, these evil gods were greatly shocked. They looked at each other in disbelief. Everyone? God's descent? Using God's descent was accompanied by a great risk. Just look at how the goddess of poison looked now. If she died during her God's descent, the loss of divine power would not be small, and her believers would also die instantly. Thinking of this, they all gulped. All the gods of the evil camp were going to descend? The last time this happened was thousands of years ago during the great war between gods and demons, right? How did this tiny human lord offend the goddess of darkness until she was so determined to destroy him at all costs? At this time, the monsters had all been cleared once again. As dense fog still shrouded the entire territory, the players could not see the situation of the territory clearly. Naturally, Li Cheng's vision was not affected at all. He frowned slightly, wondering what the last wave of enemies would come for. Suddenly, with a rumble, Mysterious energy appeared once again. Li Cheng felt as if a mountain of gravity was weighing down on his body. Then, there was the sound of a system notification. Ding, dong. For unknown reasons, you've received the buff, fear. All units movement and attack speed have been decreased by a hundred percent. World notification. A terrifying and powerful existence has descended upon the Divine Dragon Alliance. All players, please, do not approach and evacuate immediately. World notification. Ding, dong. Because you have the moon dance goddess's highest blessing, you're immune to the fear buff. From the familiar system notification and the familiar feeling, Li Cheng naturally knew what had happened. This was God's descent. In the next moment, a slender figure wearing a pitch black dress slowly walked out of the teleportation door. Seeing this figure, Li Cheng's pupils suddenly constricted. This old woman, the goddess of darkness, how could she be so vengeful? Did he not just take a few random photos and at the same time, loosen her tendons? Was there a need to be so desperate? Thinking of this, Li Cheng immediately cast a scouting spell and the information of the dark goddess appeared in front of him. Goddess of Darkness, God's Descent Description the image of the goddess of darkness that appears in the main plane after her descent. Grade, Mythical, Tier 9. Level. Health points. Attack. Defense. Skills. Unlike the weak chicken, the goddess of poison, the goddess of darkness actually had the strength of a mythical grade Tier 9 being. One had to know that without her true body in the main plane, this was already supreme combat strength. Moreover, these gods were familiar with the use of rules, and their combat strength could not be measured with normal strength. They could easily crush the mythical grade powerhouses of the main plane. At this time, the goddess of darkness's pitch black eyes were staring at Li Cheng through the fog as she said through gritted teeth, Human. 
Today's the day you die. Enjoy the feeling of being swallowed by darkness. As her words fell, the goddess of darkness gently waved her fair palm. In the next moment, an extremely terrifying and mysterious feeling attacked Li Chang again, and the system's voice rang out in succession. World Announcement A terrifying and powerful existence has descended upon the Divine Dragon Alliance. All players, please, do not approach and evacuate immediately. World Announcement A terrifying and powerful existence has descended upon the Divine Dragon Alliance. All players, please, do not approach and evacuate immediately. Chapter 176, God's Descent All accepted. The system's rumbling announcements rang out nearly 200 times. The players were all stunned. F asterisk CK, what's going on? Is there a young lady from the Rose Guild at the scene? What's going on over there? The live broadcast room is filled with fog so I can't see clearly. Could you tell what the situation's like at the scene? F asterisk CK, is there a god using God's descent again? Could it be that 200 gods are descending this time? Isn't that too terrifying? How the F asterisk CK is this going to be played? How's Netherworld going to defend himself? At this time, Li Cheng also widened his eyes. Countless figures that were emitting terrifying pressure were walking out of the teleportation portal. He swung his scouting spell wildly and information about these figures immediately appeared in front of him. God of Fury, God's Descent. God of Destruction, God's Descent. God of Deception, God's Descent. Demon King Baldin, God's Descent. God of Knowles, God's Descent. When he saw these names, Li Cheng's eyebrows twitched. This wave of gods amounted to 200 gods. Li Cheng did not even know the names of some of the gods, but there were many that he was very familiar with. In his previous life, these gods had attacked Earth. If any of them came, Earth would not be able to withstand them. A few of them had even brought endless disasters to Earth. Like the God of Destruction, for example. When the demons attacked Earth, he took the opportunity to harvest the players' territories in the main plane. At least 50% of the players' territories on Earth had been destroyed, resulting in a sharp decrease in the number of human troops that could fight. Therefore, when faced with these gods, Li Cheng would not show any mercy. At this time, Li Cheng withdrew the Shadow Maze as it had no effect on these gods at all. He was not going to hesitate. When they appeared, he snapped his fingers and more than a million defensive facilities were immediately fired at full power. The fierce cannon fire illuminated the night sky as if it was daytime. However, no damage figures jumped out. The goddess of darkness merely opened her fair palm gently. Immediately, an invisible energy shield enveloped all the evil gods. The cannon fodder was easily protected by the energy shield. Seeing this scene, Li Cheng sighed lightly. Sure enough, these gods were unreasonable. Once divine power was involved, it was difficult for ordinary weapons to hurt them. However, Li Cheng did not panic at all. Naturally, it would take a god to deal with gods. Sure enough, a series of messages from the system rang in Li Cheng's ears again. Ding, dong, the moon dance goddess is requesting to use god's descent through you. Do you agree? Ding, dong, the god of light is requesting to use god's descent through you. Do you agree? Ding, dong, the god of justice is requesting to use god's descent through you. Do you agree? Ding, dong. For a moment, the system's voice rang more than 200 times. Li Cheng was stunned when he heard it. More than 200 gods wanted to descend through him? Although it sounded beautiful, there was a limit to how much divine power mortals could receive. A single god's descent was extremely taxing on the body. Even the Holy Son who had the best compatibility with the gods could be paralyzed in bed for a few months after a god's descent. When he thought of this, Li Cheng was ready to accept Trelafani's god's descent. He and his goddess had the best compatibility. Li Cheng had never even met the other gods, 
so his strength might not be stronger after their god's descent. After making up his mind, Li Chang began to operate. He agreed to the god's descent, but only accepted power. He did not hand over his consciousness and body. For a moment, a powerful divine power surged within his body and the system's voice rang out. Ding, dong. You've accepted the god's descent of the moon dance goddess. Ding, dong. Due to your high constitution, your endurance of god's descent has increased by ten. Ding, dong. You've triggered a ten thousand times increase. Your endurance of God's descent has increased by 100,000. Hearing the notification in his ear, Li Cheng was stunned. His endurance could also be amplified by 10,000 times? God's descent's endurance, as the name implied, was the limit of the body's endurance during God's descent. He took a deep breath and a hint of madness flashed in his eyes. If that was the case, why would he not accept the God's descent from all the other gods? Thinking of this, Li Cheng did not hesitate and immediately activated the operation. A series of sounds from the system rang in his ears again. Ding, dong, you've accepted the god's descent of the god of light. Ding, dong, you've accepted the god's descent of the god of justice. Ding, dong, you've accepted the god's descent of the moonlight goddess. Ding dong. Seeing Li Cheng's crazy operation, the countless gods also widened their eyes. Is this kid crazy? He actually wants to withstand the divine power of more than 200 gods. Even if it's the lowest level of god's descent, his body can't withstand it. Tisk, tisk, tisk I'm afraid he'll die instantly this time, right? Even if it's a lord from another world, if he dies during god's descent, his body will be devoured by the divine power and his level will be directly reduced to zero. What a pity. A very promising young man's going to die today. The gods of the good camp sighed. The gods of the evil camp laughed. Hee hee, I didn't expect this kid to be so stupid as to commit suicide. Ha ha ha, it didn't take us any effort at all. It's because the goddess is too strong that this kid was scared to the point of desperation. Hee <laughs> hee, we can discuss how to distribute the resources of his territory. Almost all the gods had come to a conclusion that Li Chang was doomed. Therefore, all the gods of the evil camp were not in a hurry to make a move. They were quietly waiting for Li Chang to die. However, as time passed, Li Chang did not die. On the contrary, his aura gradually became extremely terrifying. It kept rising and rising. Soon it reached the point where none of the gods could comprehend it. Watching this scene, all the gods felt their scalps go numb. What what's this? I feel the aura of more than a hundred gods on his body. He's actually willing to bear the simultaneous descent of hundreds of gods. F asterisk CK. What is this situation? What kind of monster is this kid? Please, give me a bunch of such holy sons. Give me a bunch, too. Chapter 177, Like a God? Kill them all with one strike. More system notifications were ringing in Li Cheng's ears. Ding, dong, you've accepted the god's descent of the goddess of dawn. Ding, dong. Ding, dong, your divine power has met the requirements. The nine hammers of doom has unlocked the skill, god-killing hammers. Ding. Dong, your divine power has met the requirements. The Nine Hammers of Doom has unlocked the skill, Hammer of Chaos. Hearing this notification, Li Cheng took a deep breath. With this wave alone, he had received the gods' descent from all the gods of the good camp. He only received their power, so those gods did not have the slightest bit of control over his body and consciousness. He could feel countless kinds of extremely powerful forces rampaging in his body. The divine powers of the different attributes were not compatible with one another. Fortunately, there were a lot of them, so much that they activated the remaining skills of the Nine Hammers of Doom. Li Cheng looked at the newly unlocked skills. God-Killing Hammers Description, a powerful skill that is enough to kill a god. It is a hammer strike that strikes the soul with supreme divine power. Level, 
Max. Effect, inflicts 9 consecutive strikes. The first strike inflicts 5000 divine power damage. Each consecutive strike will double the previous amount of damage inflicted. Cost, at least 100 million divine power. Cooldown, 3000 minutes. Proficiency, Max. Hammer of Chaos. Description, uses the power of chaos to strike the ultimate skill of the enemy. After using it, the world will collapse. Level, Max. Effect 1, deals 900 billion divine power damage. Effect 2, the Hammer of Chaos will directly damage the god's soul. Effect 3, this skill cannot be dodged. Regardless of a god's status, it will directly strike the god's soul. Cost, at least 500 million divine power. Cooldown time, 30 days. Proficiency, maxed out. Looking at the attributes of these two skills, Li Cheng sucked in a breath of cold air. This was too ridiculous. Both skills required a terrifying amount of divine power, and their damage coefficients were so high that even Li Cheng could not comprehend them. The god killing hammers doubled the damage with every strike. If all nine strikes hit their target, the damage would be extremely terrifying, reaching an incalculable value. However, there was a drawback. The damage of the god-killing hammers could be dodged. If one used an invincible skill, he might be able to dodge it. As immortals, gods would have the equipment and skills to protect themselves. However, the Hammer of Chaos did not have this problem. Its damage was terrifying to the extreme. What was even more ridiculous were the two effects that caused Li Cheng's eyelids to twitch. Directly injuring a god's soul meant that it did not matter if the gods were using god's descent or incarnations. Once they were hit by this skill, their true bodies would be directly injured. This point was too terrifying. Combined with the third skill, it was as simple as taking a life. It must be known that the gods cherished their lives to the extreme. They would not easily come to the main plane, and sustaining injuries were also very rare. Thinking of this, Li Cheng did not hesitate any longer. He poured all his divine power into the Nine Hammers of Doom and prepared to use Hammer of Chaos. At this time, the countless evil gods widened their eyes as they looked at the scene in disbelief. What happened? Did the God of Light save him? Impossible, even the God of Light doesn't have this ability. The countless divine powers would collide and erode each other. Even gods can't stand it, right? This kid must die today. Otherwise, there'll be endless trouble in the future. Your Highness, make your move. The countless evil gods were in a clamor. Everyone was filled with righteous indignation but no one made a move. They were all old monsters who had lived for countless years. No one was willing to act first. Some were even secretly planning on how to attack their opponents. At this time, an incomparably vast energy suddenly descended from the sky. A terrifying hammer made out of energy with a diameter of more than thousands of meters suddenly appeared in the night sky. The eyes of all the gods instantly widened. F asterisk CK, what is this thing? They did not have the time to think. There was a feeling in the depths of their souls that caused their true bodies to feel a sense of danger. Everyone began to run. However, it was too late. Boom. 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 The energy hammer that was thousands of meters long smashed into the ground. The sky collapsed and the earth cracked. A loud explosion that sounded like the end of the world could be heard as the entire ground shook violently. In the next moment, the energy hammer dissipated. Everyone's pupils shrank and a cold sweat broke out. In front of Li Cheng's territory, a bottomless pit that was thousands of meters deep had appeared. At the same time, a series of system notifications rang in Li Cheng's ears. Ding, dong. You've killed the god of destruction's god's descent and obtained 9 billion experience points, 90 hero skill points, and 9 million contribution points. Ding, dong. You've killed the goddess of misfortune's god's descent and obtained 8 billion experience points. 80 hero skill points, and 8 million contribution points. Ding, 
Dong. You've killed the God of Wrath's God's Descent and obtained 10 million experience points, 100 hero skill points, and 10 million contribution points. Ding, dong. Ding, dong. You've triggered a 10,000 times increase and obtained 90 million experience points, 90,000 hero skill points, and 90 million contribution points. Ding, dong. Ding, dong. You've completely killed the immortal grade god of gnolls and obtained 800 million experience points, 8,000 hero skill points, and 90 million contribution points. Ding, dong. You've triggered a 10,000 times increase and obtained. Ding, dong. You've plundered the divine kingdom of the immortal grade god of gnolls and obtained 200 gnoll small divine power crystals, 500 god of gnolls divine fragments and 10% of the god of Knoll's priesthood. Ding, dong, you've triggered a 10,000 times increase and obtained 2 million Knoll small divine power crystals, 5 million god of Knoll's divine fragments, and 100% of the god of Knoll's priesthood. World Announcement Divine Dragon Alliance player Netherworld has killed the immortal great god of Knoll's. As the first player in the world to completely kill the true form of a god, you are rewarded with an immortal grade dazzling gift box and 10 billion reputation points. World Announcement The Divine Kingdom of the Immortal Grade God of Gnolls has been plundered by Netherworld. Ding, dong, you've triggered a 10,000 times increase and received an immortal grade supreme dazzling gift box and a 100 trillion reputation points. Ding, dong, you've completely killed the immortal grade God of Kobolds. Ding, dong. You've completely killed more gods, triggered a 10,000 times increase, and obtained the immortal grade title, God Slayer. Ding, dong. Chapter 178, The Siege is Over, Strong Buff. The system's voice rang for a few minutes before it finally stopped. It took much longer than when he destroyed Tyavanas's dungeon. Li Cheng did not check the notifications. He immediately dispersed all the divine power in his body. Then, the system's notification rang again. Ding, dong. For unknown reasons, you've obtained the buff, fatigue. Ding, dong. A wave of fatigue was felt. As a side effect of God's descent, all of Li Cheng's attributes had been reduced by 50%. Li Cheng took a deep breath and could not help but feel a little dazed. This wave was indeed a little ridiculous. With hundreds of gods descending, the divine power in his body had exploded in value and the damage of the Hammer of Chaos had been pulled to its maximum. Li Cheng had killed all the gods in the evil camp, including the goddess of darkness. At the same time, he had also killed thirteen gods' true bodies, meaning he had completely killed them for good. Thinking of this, Li Cheng sucked in a breath of cold air. The fall of the gods had been a long time ago. Although these thirteen gods were very weak, the kinds that were on the same level as Ella such as the god of kobolds, the god of evil dwarfs, the god of gnolls, and so on, they were still true gods. Even the god of light would be ashamed if he saw Li Cheng's battle record. There was one more thing that Li Cheng could be very sure of, which was that all the evil gods present during this wave had absolutely suffered heavy losses. Those who survived, even if they were not completely killed, were definitely wounded. It could be said that Li Cheng's hammer directly destroyed 50% of the evil camp's combat strength. Just as Li Cheng had guessed, countless gods were also stunned. This is the Nine Hammers of Doom. Good heavens, the Nine Hammers of Doom are actually so powerful. Yes. One hammer directly killed all the god incarnations and also completely killed 13 gods. How's that possible? Their real bodies weren't even in the main plane. Ha ha ha, this time, I want to see how those gods from the evil camp are going to survive. Goddess of Darkness, where are you? I heard you like using god's descent. Ha ha ha, so mean. The gods from the good camp were naturally very happy. Although the good camp won the war between the gods and demons thousands of years ago, the evil camp had always been very arrogant. This time, the other side had lost 13 gods. It could be said to be an epic victory. 
At the same time, Li Cheng's popularity had soared to its peak. Now, all the gods in the world knew Li Cheng's name. At this time, after a strong wave of mysterious fluctuations, a slender and graceful woman walked out gracefully. Li Cheng raised his eyebrows. This big sister seemed to be a little familiar. Then, he cast a detection spell and the information of the other party immediately appeared in front of him. Goddess of Luck, Incarnation The Goddess of Luck was naturally related to Luck, but she was usually associated with her sister, the Goddess of Misfortune. Li Cheng had a good understanding of this Goddess of Luck because in his previous life, he had attacked her divine kingdom. At that moment, the Goddess of Luck was in a good mood. She smiled and said, he he, little guy, you did well this time. Little guy? Hearing this, the corner of Li Cheng's mouth twitched. He asked, what's the purpose of this scroll? The goddess of luck smiled. Of course, it's to seduce my stupid sister. Initially, I merely wanted her to lose a wave of troops, but I didn't expect you to be so awesome that you could directly injure her. Hearing this, Li Cheng rolled his eyes. These two sisters truly had a deep sisterly love. The two of them had loved and killed each other for tens of thousands of years. The goddess of luck was a completely neutral god. She did not care about good or evil. What she cared about was if her sister was dead or not. At this moment, the system notification rang. World announcement. The monster siege has ended. Congratulations to the Divine Dragon Alliance players for winning. World Announcement The rewards for the large-scale world event have been distributed to all the players. Ding, dong, the rewards are being calculated. Please, wait patiently. Ding, dong, the rewards have been calculated. Ding, dong, all participating players will be rewarded with 4,000 gold coins, 100 basic resources, and one luck value. Ding, dong. Due to the low participation of the White Elephant Alliance, you're unable to receive the rewards. Ding, dong, due to the low participation of the Universe Alliance, you're unable to receive the rewards. Ding, dong, due to the low participation of the Hundred Flowers Alliance, you're unable to receive the rewards. Ding, dong, due to the low participation of the Eagle Alliance, you're unable to receive the rewards. Ding, dong. Ding, dong, as the only player in the world who survived, Netherworld and the Divine Dragon Alliance players will receive special rewards. Ding, dong, the special rewards are as follows. All Divine Dragon Alliance players will receive 10 luck points and a 50% increase in their critical strike and critical damage rates for 7 days starting from the end of the event. When the Divine Dragon Alliance players heard the notifications in their ears, they immediately cheered. Netherworld boss is awesome. Netherworld boss is awesome. With this buff and the previous buff from the Shadow World, we'll definitely take off. Fortunately, Netherworld boss is from our Divine Dragon Alliance. If he chose another alliance, tisk, tisk, tisk. I can't imagine it. Ha ha ha, the other alliances didn't get any rewards either. Isn't this too great? This time, Everyone from our alliance has increased their luck by a little. The rewards smell too good. As the only lord that had survived, the system's rewards for Li Cheng were not bad. It even rewarded all the players from the Divine Dragon Alliance. With an extremely strong attack buff, coupled with the buff from the Shadow World event, the attributes of the Divine Dragon Alliance players had increased tremendously. Everyone's luck value was also increased. It could only be said that the rewards made them very strong, especially after the monsters attacked the city. Everyone had to start all over again. The use of the luck points was very great. Therefore, the Divine Dragon Alliance was about to take off once again. The players from the other alliances almost drooled. They wished that tribe would drop an alliance conversion scroll. This way, they would not have to be jealous of the players from the Divine Dragon Alliance. F asterisk CK, it's Netherworld again. This is too disappointing. Is this the so-called crystallization of human wisdom? 
they can't even control a cheat. I strongly request the officials to investigate Netherworld. If not, I won't eat. I'm dying of laughter. Why aren't you eating? Even if you go home and kill your mother, no one will care about you. Despicable Netherworld Chapter 179, Goddess of Lux Kiss On Li Cheng's side, the system notification was still ringing. Ding, dong, you've triggered a 10,000 times increase and obtained 40 million gold coins, a million basic resources, and a million in luck value. Ding, dong, as the only surviving player in the world, you've received the following reward. For 7,000 years after the end of the event, your luck value has increased by 10,000 times, and your critical strike and critical damage rates have increased by 100%. Looking at the duration of the reward, Li Cheng was stunned. 7,000 years? With the current speed of his development, if Li Cheng was given 7 months, his territory would become a behemoth, not to mention 7,000 years. This time limit was about the same as a permanent buff. Of course, the Goddess of Lux scroll could still be withdrawn at any time. Li Cheng felt that the reward was pretty good. A 100% critical hit and damage rate. Generally speaking, the critical attack rate was 200%. After being increased by 1000%, the critical damage rate was 1200%. The increase was quite big. As the system's voice fell, Li Cheng did not check his backpack immediately. Instead, he looked at the Goddess of Luck in front of him. The Goddess of Luck had thrown an avatar over and it was not just a small reward for him. Sure enough, after a while, the Goddess of Luck looked at Li Cheng with her bright eyes and said, Are you interested in joining my church? I'll let you be my strongest priest. Whatever I have, I'll give it to you. Hearing this, Li Cheng's eyelids twitched. The Goddess of Luck was quite strong. Although she could not be compared to the old perverts like the God of Light and the Goddess of Darkness, she was still one of the old gods. She had a wide range of followers and almost no one dared to look down on her. Her current self did not take Trelafani seriously at all. Openly snatching the holy son of another god was tantamount to declaring war against this god. Li Cheng directly refused, Sorry, my relationship with the Moon Dance Goddess is very good. It did not matter whether she was strong or not. Trelafani was wholeheartedly focused on him, so Li Cheng naturally would not let her down. Hearing Li Cheng's answer, the Goddess of Luck smiled indifferently. She said, He he, for tens of thousands of years, I've been searching for some of the fragments you are looking for, but now, I don't need them anymore. Take these as my reward to you. She gently waved her fair palm and suddenly, there was a magic staff fragment in her hand that was emitting a strong ominous message. As the goddess of Luck's voice fell, the system's voice rang in Li Cheng's ears. Ding, dong, you've obtained three immortal grade evil god staff fragments. Ding, dong, you've collected all the fragments of the immortal grade evil god staff. Please, forge it on the forging table. Oh. Li Cheng's eyelids twitched. He had been thinking about this immortal grade staff for a long time. No wonder he did not get any information about this staff in his previous life. It turned out that three quarters of it had been collected by the Goddess of Luck. He did not stand on ceremony and directly put it away, saying, Thank you, Your Highness. Hee <laughs> hee, it's nothing. I haven't been in such a good mood for thousands of years, the Goddess of Luck said with a smile. After saying that, she leaned over and lightly pecked Li Cheng on his cheek. He he, you're always welcome here. After saying that, the goddess of luck disappeared in the blink of an eye. At this time, the system's voice rang. Ding, dong, you've received a special buff, kiss of luck. Kiss of luck. Description, a kiss from the goddess of luck. Legend has it that after being kissed by the goddess of luck, a person will forever escape from bad luck. However, for tens of thousands of years, no living creature has ever received such treatment. Level, Max Effect 1, 
luck value is permanently equal to the goddess of luck's luck value. Currently, it is 9,999.9 billion. Effect 2, damage dealt on the goddess of misfortune and all units of the church of misfortune has increased by 1,000%. Effect 3, immune to all divine spells of the goddess of misfortune. Seeing the effect of this buff, Li Cheng was stunned. Was this woman's luck value that high? No wonder she had been courting death countless times over the past tens of thousands of years. She could even survive a few battles between the gods and demons. With such a high luck value, it would be strange if she died. Seeing the two effects, the corner of Li Cheng's mouth twitched. He was too lazy to say anything. After all, the two sisters had deep feelings for each other. In short, Li Cheng's relationship with the goddess of luck could be considered pretty good. Suddenly, an even larger figure gradually appeared in the clouds. His appearance instantly dispelled the darkness created by the goddess of moonlight and the sky immediately flashed with a dazzling light. Li Cheng narrowed his eyes. With such powerful divine power, there was only one answer as to who it could be, and that was the god of light. The god of light's image in the world was of a kind old man. His eyes that were constructed from energy were looking down at him. As long as one was under his gaze, one would feel a sense of peace in their heart as if they were soaking in a warm river. Human from another world, thank you for all that you have done for kindness and justice. I hope you have a heart of dedication and redemption. With the God of Light's strength, he could tell at a glance that Li Cheng was not a devout paladin, but he still maintained great kindness toward Li Cheng. After all, Li Cheng's actions had caused great losses to the evil camp. Persuading people to do good was the Church of Light's creed. As the God of Light, he was naturally the first to bear the brunt of it. Li Cheng shook his head solemnly and said, I just want to become stronger and survive. Hearing this, the God of Light sighed. All right, child. That's not wrong. He did not say anything more. Instead, he waved his hand, and immediately, a dazzling light pierced through the clouds and illuminated everyone. The system's rumbling sound rang at the same time. World Announcement Due to the outstanding performance of Divine Dragon Alliance player, Netherworld, in fighting against evil, the God of Light hereby rewards all Divine Dragon Alliance players with a hundred contribution points. All mission rewards of the Church of Light will be doubled. World Announcement all Divine Dragon Alliance players can go to the Church of Light to receive 200,000 basic resources. These resources will be given on a loan. Please, return it after 30 days. Hearing the system's voice, the players cheered again. What they lacked had been rewarded to them. What was the thing they lacked most in rebuilding their territory? Naturally, it was all kinds of basic resources. When the monsters attacked the city, most of the resource points could not be mined. The players did not have that many soldiers. The players even had problems looking for food. Chapter 180, Promoted to the Seventh Duke of the Church of Light With the God of Light's reward, the players of the Divine Dragon Alliance did not have this problem anymore. Although 200,000 basic resources was not a lot, it was enough for the players to get through this precarious period. This wave of players from the Dragon God Alliance could be said to have earned a lot of money. It was a great start. As for returning the borrowed resources in 30 days, the players' territories would have already been formed by that time. This bit of resources was not a problem at all. The system's voice was still ringing in Li Cheng's ears. Ding, dong, due to your outstanding contribution to the good camp, the God of Light has promoted you to the Seventh Duke of the Church of Light. Ding, dong, you've successfully obtained the title of the Duke. Hint, this title is the highest God-blessed title in the Church of Light. Ding, dong, with the Duke's title, you'll enjoy the following privileges. First, when receiving a mission from the Church of Light, there will be no restrictions regarding the level of the mission. You can receive an SSS class mission from the God of Light. Second, you can choose a divine territory of any size and location. 
the territory will be under the highest protection of the Church of Light. Any attack on your territory will be considered as a declaration of war on the Church of Light. Third, in the Church of Light stores, goods that are legendary grade and below are provided free of charge. Goods that are legendary grade and above are sold at a 10% discount. Fourth, you can recruit troops of less than 1 trillion people. There are no restrictions on the types of troops you can recruit. You can also command battles of any scale. Fifth, you can issue missions to the outside world. The highest level of missions you can issue is SSS class. There is no limit to the number of missions you can issue each month. Sixth, you can give out top secret missions of the church. There is no limit to the number of missions you can give. Seventh, you can participate in the highest level meetings of the church. Eighth, you can build a branch of the Church of Light in your territory. Ninth, you have the right to recruit soldiers. You can recruit people from the various human empires to become paladins. Tenth, when two dukes or archbishops are present, you can fully represent the Church of Light to negotiate with the various empires. The negotiations include the provision of church resources, the right to recruit people, and the planning of the divine territories. Eleventh, you can formulate the church's relevant system. Hearing the system's voice in his ear, Li Cheng was momentarily stunned. Did he just skip the marquee title and become a Duke of the Church of Light? Li Cheng's current title was the seventh Duke of the Church of Light. It was not that Li Cheng's power was ranked seventh, but in the entire history of the Lost Continent, there were only seven people who had obtained the Duke's title. As for the six Dukes before him, five of them had already become petitioners of the God of Light. The other one had advanced to the divine position and became a follower of the God of Light. Li Cheng's current privileges had indeed reached a heaven-defying level. After becoming a Duke, countless messages appeared in his mind. They were all sent to him by the God of Light in an instant. He now had a clear understanding of the Church of Light. A commander like Vic had become just a small soldier who now had to bow whenever he saw Li Cheng. His authority within the Church of Light was equal to that of a few archbishops. Out of more than ten privileges, any one of them was extremely powerful. If it was announced, it would be enough to shock all the players. He even had the authority to move the City of Light to another location. All of this seemed glorious but Li Cheng could not understand the God of Light's motive. Why did he do this? Li Cheng still had his own self-awareness. He did not think that the God of Light had taken a fancy on him. Strictly speaking, Li Cheng was essentially an opportunist. As for kindness, of course, it was something he did not have. Massacre, extortion, plunder as long as it was necessary, Li Cheng was sure that he would do it. Soon, his eyes lit up. He understood the God of Light's purpose. The God of Light's idea was very simple. The good camp had already offered Li Cheng an extremely high bargaining chip. Since Li Cheng desired power, he would grant Li Cheng supreme power before tying him tightly to the good camp's worship. If the benefits given by one side were higher than the benefits from the other, who would bother to linger between the two camps? At the same time, this also marked the Church of Light's mark on Li Cheng. The birth of a God-blessed Duke would probably be known by the Demon Kings who lived in seclusion in the bottomless abyss all year round. As for Li Cheng, the Church of Light was still on guard when it concerned him. It was uncertain how many of these privileges could be realized by then. Li Cheng understood in his heart that it was fine as long as they were happy. Anyway, his power in the Church of Light had already reached a heaven-defying level. Indeed, there was no need to play house with the evil camp, but Li Cheng's own plan would not change. If he followed the God of Light, it would be no problem for him to become a god in the future, but if he continued to advance, it would be very difficult. Li Cheng's ambition was not just to obtain this little. At this time, all the gods slowly withdrew their gazes. Regardless of whether they were shocked or unconvinced, the monster siege had come to an end. Li Cheng also began to count his gains. This wave of rewards could be described as blood money. Just the divine power crystals alone, 
Li Cheng had obtained close to 40 million. However, these divine power crystals carried the strong aura of a god. It would take a lot of time to purify them. At the same time, he had also gained a lot of divine power crystals, each type in the few millions. For some of the weaker gods, Li Cheng could directly condense their divine power crystals into complete divine powers, such as the god of jackals, the god of kobolds, and so on. In addition to the complete racial priesthood of the god of gnolls and a large amount of divine power, as long as one was a powerhouse at the peak of mythical grade, he could directly become a god after obtaining these items. At this time, Li Cheng was deep in thought. These could be given to Tiavanas, Trelafani, or Ella. Li Cheng had his own idea. The complete racial priesthood and divine power would be given to Tiavanas. Generally speaking, racial gods were only available to small scale races. For slightly larger races, the priesthood would be subdivided and many gods would be born. For example, among humans, elves, dwarves, and the corresponding gods, their racial priesthoods were very detailed and comprehensive. If these things were given to that little lowly, Tyavanas, it would be easy for her to lead this evil race since she was originally from the evil camp. These races, whether they were used as cannon fodder or workers, were quite good gains. However, as for the divine fragments. The fragments used by a god to become a god were very important. If the fragments were too weak, it would directly restrict the growth of the god. None of these fragments caught Li Cheng's eye. He simply threw them into his backpack, waiting to use them in the future. He believed that day was not too far away. 